Greetings all, welcome back to Direct Access Mixstream. My name is JD from Studio 2105 and this is a brand new episode of Weekly Update Wednesdays. If you are new here, warm welcome to you. Do click on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell so that you'll be updated every time I put out a brand new video. I encourage you to sign up for the email list for a bunch of free stuff and free goodies. And if you want to support the channel by becoming a patron, head on down to www.patreon.com slash studio2105. Last weekend was the Pentas Akhir, the finals of the Anugrah Lagu Indie 2021. I was privileged and I had the honor of uh, being on the panel of judges that included right, such industry luminaries such as Jennifer Thompson and also Amy Search, who was the guest star. Many other fellow judges as well, right? Many of them who are artists and also uh, colleagues in the local Malaysian music industry. The big winner was Arun Boy with his debut single, Enge Port, by a pretty unanimous decision, by the way, for most of the judges. Not only did he really impress um, us judges, but I think in terms of how you know he uh, was received and the, the response from both the audience, the crowd, and social media, right? He was definitely the clear favorite to win this year's Amigo Lagu Indie 2021. So big congratulations to you, and a big congratulations as well to all the bands, all the finalists, and in fact everyone who took part in this year's competition. Sadly, this past weekend has not been a very good time for a lot of folks out there. Here in Malaysia, we've been experiencing one of the worst floods in decades after non-stop continuous rain for over a couple of days. Many, many areas were severely flooded. You know, people lost a lot of their property, lost a lot of their homes. And sadly, you know, there has been, you know, quite a, um, there have been some lives lost as well. Um, my heart, my, my, my thoughts, my prayers really go out to all the uh, flood victims out there. Please stay safe and a big salute as well to all the rescue workers, to all the volunteers and all the uh, NGOs who are out there um, helping with the relief efforts as well. And this is only in Malaysia. Not to mention as well, right? Uh, I know I've got a lot of friends and a lot of viewers as well who are from the Philippines and unfortunately Typhoon Rai or or, or um, uh, we also, also referred to as Typhoon Odette um, has also just hit and slammed through the Philippines um, and um, it just brings back memories of, you know, um, Typhoon Haiyan and uh, which happened many, many years ago and we remember how bad was that. Even though apparently it was not as serious, but still, right, you know, a lot of damage, a lot of a loss of uh, property and, you know, and a lot of hardship and a lot of uh, difficulty, you know. So my heart also goes out to all of my friends and everyone out there who is in the Philippines. Right, in the middle of a, a pandemic, you know, we were being struck by all these uh, um, issues and all these calamities. Um, I hope everyone's staying safe and um, hope everyone's gonna recover and you know e even though this is a year end and and uh, Christmas is coming and New year is coming hopefully you'll be able to find right the silver lining lah okay that that's out there by the way okay um I just want to put it out there uh, there's not much that I felt I could do that I could contribute but I'm just putting out there if you are a musician or if you are right someone who owns a home studio and if you have been personally affected by the floods you know if your home if your house studio was flooded out um, I'm going to be putting out the band aid offer um, link is going to leave it down in the description below now if you all right have been affected by the floods do get in touch with me I'm going to be opening up my studio right um, for any one of you, if you're a musician, if you're a producer or you're an engineer and your home studio and whatever you, you work on, your projects that you're doing on at home, 
you can't work on it now. Maybe your equipment has been damaged. Your instruments have been uh, damaged whatsoever. Get in touch with me, okay? Right? And uh, we'll talk about more. I'll make the studio available for you for free. All right? Hopefully that helps. Now, with all of the news and updates out of the way, let's head on down without further delay to this week's featured question. When you receive a mix session containing stereo files, do you make the things that should be mono into mono files? Or do you just leave them and work with the files as they are? Now, this happens from time to time when I receive files that have been usually recorded elsewhere, you know, or recorded at home where every single file is a stereo file, right? Even things that are usually should be in mono, such as, you know, kick, bass guitar, even vocals. Now, the main reason why this can be a problem is that stereo files, they take up twice the hard disk space twice the bandwidth and this can cause bottlenecks and glitches to happen right in the processing now if you have a brand new state-of-the-art machine right it might not be a problem but if you get a project with hundreds of tracks you know even a fairly powerful computer might struggle all the more if you're working with high sample rates okay? if i'm talking about you know 96 kilohertz and or maybe even more now i usually send my clients a pdf file containing right uh, the submission guidelines where I outline and describe and I explain to them what to expect, how to you know export the files, how to label them, how to arrange and how to organize the files as well. Now uh, but you know there are uh, will always be inevitably right a few uh, reasons where you know they end up then sending stereo files anyway. And it's not always a situation where the end user, the user is at fault. Now, if someone is new to um, home recording or perhaps you're working with an unfamiliar DAW, right? There is a chance that when exporting files, he or she might have missed, right? The option to export mono parts as mono files and stereo parts as stereo files. Uh, you know, it's res resulting in the matter, the subject matter that we are discussing. Now, unfortunately, some DAWs, right, their user interface don't make it easy to locate and you know find and set the proper uh, export options so right ends up you know uh, people just go out with the default settings now in other cases there are some vsc instruments and some daws that can only route and or export stereo tracks so you know the user is left with no choice uh, but to do so i remember getting files that have been exported from either reason or fruity loops and these would always be in stereo now mind you these are older versions perhaps right the latest and the newest versions right uh, do allow you to uh, export in mono so what do i do no big deal okay now depending on your daw right uh, there is often a built-in function to convert the files. Now, for example, in Cubase, we have the audio pool, which contains all the project files, and there is a convert files command that allows you to convert the file attributes, right? Everything from the sample rate, the bit depth, the number of channels, file formats, etc. It's as easy as you right, right click, couple of clicks, and then you're done. Now, I personally like to take a slightly longer path you know, whereby I'll usually trim, right? I'll top and tail the files to just the length, all right, of where the audio should be, right? You, usually I do this during the mix prep anyway. Then I would use the export function to create new mono files this way. Although this is slightly longer and more convoluted um, method, this way I end up with much smaller file sizes, right? And uh, in the end, all right, I can end up uh, deleting the original files as well. Whichever way works for you, all right, um, find out, right, your own DAW will probably have its own method, all right, its own um, built-in function to deal with this. Now, on projects with smaller track counts, now very often, okay, I'll just leave things as it is, okay, because if it's only a couple of tracks, I'll just leave them just say as they are, right? Um, because it's not really going to take a uh, cause that much of a hit on the um, both the hard disk bandwidth and also the CPU processing power. Now, most DAWs and 
plugins, with a handful of exceptions, right? Um, handle both mono and stereo tracks in the same way. So once again, it is no factor. Now, when I was younger, you know, I used to think that, you know, I had to educate the clients, right? When I receive stereo files, I would ask them to, hey, you know, could you please re-export them as mono? Now, but with experience, right, comes maturity. And uh, nowadays, it's really no point, right, uh, in stressing over this matter, asking your client to go and do the extra work. Yeah, of course, we do try, we do want to educate and inform, right, our musicians and clients. But I always kind of go back to the core of what we do as engineers and producers in that we are merely service providers, okay? Whatever we do is always right in the service of what the client's wishes, right? In helping them to achieve and to get their projects done. So that's my take on this subject, okay? Now, hopefully it will um, make your mixing experience a pleasant and a more enjoyable one, not only just for you, but you know, also for your clients as well. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please do leave a like, please do share this. And uh, once again, if you're not subscribed, please do click on the subscribe button and the notification bell as well. Right, um, I'll be signing off. Um, Christmas is coming. I'm gonna wish every one of you who is celebrating uh, Christmas, a blessed Christmas to you, to everyone out there who is going through right the, the the floods we always experience the floods right now i hope that you are all safe and healthy once again uh, musicians out there if you have been affected please do check out the uh, band-aid the flood aid um uh, offer that i'm putting out right now do get in touch with me okay uh to everyone else all of you right i hope to see you again in another video real soon stay safe stay happy stay healthy happy recording and mixing peace love and music